Hi there. Today I'm going to talk about why I learn languages. Um, and I'm going to do that because at our forum there was a thread started by one of our members at Link. And uh, basically he said, you know, what is better, modest quality or flashy quantity? And he sort of said, you know, aren't we better to focus on one language and learn it thoroughly rather than trying to show off by sewing, speaking so many different languages? So I kind of felt like, is he talking about me? Uh, Korean would be my 13th language. Obviously, I could go back to Japanese. I would love to. Japanese, Chinese, Spanish. I could go do them in greater depth, learn more words, get more deeply into the culture, and needless to say, all the other languages that I don't speak as well as Japanese or Chinese or Spanish. So, um, you know, and I love listening to French audiobooks. So, yeah, that's always the decision you have to make. Do I go and and, and enjoy the languages that I've already learned or do I add a new one? Uh, before I get into my answer to that, I'll just quickly run through my day today. Uh, day 36, I was up uh, early to see the end of the Russia-Finland game at the uh, Sochi Olympics, uh, a shocker. Uh, and then Canada, I didn't see the game because I had to go off and play hockey myself. But I, I recorded the game between Canada and Latvia, and Canada just squeaked by Latvia. Now, in both cases, you have a team that's more talented, struggling against a team with less talent. Although the Finns are a pretty talented team, but still, the Russians were favored better, and so forth. And, you know, the underdog was hungrier. I think that was the conclusion that I came away with, both... The Finns were hungrier than the Russians, the Latvians were hungrier than the Canadians, but the Canadians managed to squeak by. So, uh, after my hockey, I went up to my Korean uh, dry cleaner because I had taken a sweater there last week, so we chit-chatted a bit in Korean. Went to a Japanese restaurant where there are Koreans behind the counter. I sat at the counter, we spoke some Korean. I had my iPad there, I was reading. Sat beside a lady who was an immigrant from Iran. And she was interested in the fact that I could speak Korean and was reading in Korean. So we had a, a conversation. She's interested in learning languages. I gave her a card, a link card. Hopefully she shows up. So why learn languages? Why learn, you know, multiple languages? All right. The reason I learn languages is for the kinds of things that I'm now starting to be able to do in Korean. If I listen to Kim Yong Ha's podcast, I don't understand it much. But I know roughly what he's talking about, but I'm enjoying it. And I and, and I am challenged by the fact that I can eventually get to where I can actually understand what he's saying. Uh, through this uh, YouTube channel, someone pointed out to me that uh, there is a TED, TED talk where Kim Jong-ha speaks and there is a transcript. So with that, I imported it into Link and I've been studying it. So I learn, I learn about Kim Jong-ha who is a Korean, and in this uh, TED talk, he's encouraging Koreans to be more creative, more playful, become artists, and he makes reference to people like Flaubert, uh, Martha Graham, who is, I didn't even know who she was, but she's a world famous dancer who visited Korea at the age of 90, and someone said to her, you know, what advice do you have for Korean uh, people who are into modern dance? And she said, just do it. And that was Kim Young Ha's sort of message to his Korean audience, just do it. You know, life is a game, enjoy it, um, and so forth. So to me, it's, it's a bit of a game as well. Uh, but more than that, it enables me to connect. Uh, some of the um, items that I've been studying, there was one Korean news item about they're going to change the address system in Seoul. Uh, of course, reading Chosen Ilbo and the whole issue of the relations between Japan and Korea. I hope to get into more history. Uh, these are the kinds of things that I want to connect with. Uh, with Czech, you know, this Tolki Chesko Minulosti, listening to endless hours of, of beautiful podcasts, radio programs about Czech history, uh, you know, Habsburg history, Czech history, uh, the uh, Holy Roman Empire, the role of Prague in the 14th century, all these kinds of things. Russian, you know, listening to Russian audiobooks, uh, or, uh, and, and then even current affairs, the Yaktovidi in Czech, Echo uh, Moskvi in Russian, and so forth and so on. Romanian, while I never got very good at Romanian, I was able to start listening to uh, history podcasts or radio programs, news radio programs. Uh, 
and that's it. You connect. The goal is not like I could not just, uh, you know, do like people swear by Asi Mill or whatever. I can't just do, you know, hello, how are you? My name is uh, learn how to say all these things so that you can say them. Uh, you know, yes, it's fun to be in a, a restaurant and chit chat with a waiter. But that's not the goal. If that were the, the end purpose of learning the language, I wouldn't bother. So the fact that I now am much more knowledgeable about Czech history, Russian history, current events in those countries, hopefully will start to do that in Korean, have some, some sense of how people there think, have listened to them talk in their own language. Uh, that to me is, is the attraction. Uh, sitting beside this immigrant lady from Iran, if I could learn Farsi and when I think of Iran and I think of Central Asia and, uh, you know, uh, Bukhara and, uh, you know, the Silk Road and, and everything, I'd love to learn Turkish, Arabic, Farsi, uh, I don't know, Hindi, Thai, Vietnamese, just to get a flavor of what those people and cultures are all about. It's not a matter of showing off. Um, no. And so it's not a matter normally it's not a matter of three months. I have here a 90 day challenge where I I'm challenging people to step up the level of their intensity in terms of language learning, because I know intensity pays big results, big dividends. Uh, but it's not, you know, fluency in three months. Uh, look at me. I speak this language. That's not the goal. Uh, you know, Russian, I was at it for five years, listening, 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 check, you know, a year and some, then I went away from it, then I was back at it again. I mean, it takes time. It takes time, but there's no reason why. And but Romanian wouldn't take as long. A Romanian, I was only at it for two months. I, I am sure that in a much shorter period of time, because so much vocabulary is similar to to Italian and so forth, that it's easier. So, you know, Portuguese and Spanish, the same idea. So the amount of time required varies from language to language, but it does take a lot of time. But the goal is to achieve a, a, a depth so that you can actually start learning the language from, again, meaningful content. And what's meaningful to one person may not be meaningful to another. Uh, I'm not interested in anime, for example. Many people are, and that's their motivation for learning Japanese. So to me, the reason I learn languages is to connect with some aspect of the culture, history, whatever of that language. The ability to, to speak with people uh, is a bonus, but realistically, um, five years I'm here in my car listening to audiobooks in Russian, uh, you know, political discussion in Russian or in Czech and hopefully now in Korean. How much time am I going to spend? I, I spent a total of 10 days in Russia. I spent maybe another 10 days in the Czech Republic actually using the language. So the amount of time I spend using it is actually quite limited compared to the immense enjoyment that I have acquired through my contact, through reading and listening to the language. So in that sense, as you know, the question of whether you focus on one language or go after 10, it's entirely up to you. What are you interested in? You know, there's so much more I could do in Chinese if I wanted to, and I would love to, but I have to make a choice. I have only so much time available. So maybe, you know, rather than learning Farsi and Arabic, I may go back and, uh, get deeper into Chinese. 